Growing corn can be a challenge. We do everything we can to maximize the number of ears, the number of kernels on each ear, and even the test weight of each kernel. So after investing so much energy into growing the crop, why do we tolerate leaving so much of it in the field at harvest? Rake away the residue and you'll often see profits slipping through our corn heads. Every two kernels per square foot here equals a bushel per acre lost. We'll spend hours fine-tuning the back end of the combine, but everything we do up front is a compromise. We shut down the deck plates to try to capture the small ears, even though we know it increases shelling on large ears. We'll slow the header speed to improve gathering chain performance, even though that can cause feeding and residue chopping problems. Take a close look at today's gathering chains and it becomes clear why we lose an excessive amount of grain. Even when deck plates are tight, there's a large gap that lets grain fall right through. So let's close that gap. 360 Yield Center plugs the yield gap with the 360 Yield Saver, a simple replacement gathering chain that uses these interlocking bristles to catch the loose kernels and deliver them to the cross auger. The innovative system uses traditional Timken roller chain customized with these clips. Just snap and secure these bristle blocks to the chain and install using your existing sprockets. There are also specialized crop lug blocks that improve stock feeding and crop flow. These bristles are the key to capturing loose kernels while allowing leaves and tops to move down through the rollers. Two rows of interlocking bristles not only captures kernels, but they also provide some cushioning to reduce ear shelling. And big savings comes every time we keep one of these from falling through the deck plates. This nubbin, while not impressive, still adds to the yield total. Now you can capture these without running your deck plates tight. And when you're not managing your head speed to minimize ear shelling, you can optimize for crop flow and residue cutting. Yield loss from head shelling varies. Early in the season, at 25% moisture or more, loss may be under one bushel per acre. But as grain dries, losses of three bushel or more are common. This demonstration shows the typical difference between conventional chains and 360 yield saver. The left half of this head is equipped with yield saver, the right has conventional chains. And here's the difference in header loss. Each flag shows the location of a kernel. Yellow for yield saver, orange for conventional. In this example, there was an 85% reduction in loss, a savings of 1.8 bushels per acre. At $4 per bushel, that's an extra $7.40 for every acre you harvest. When bristles wear out, after about one season of use, simply pop them off and replace the bristle blocks. We expect the chain to last as long as your conventional chain lasts. So with as little as one and a half bushel savings per acre, you would get a one-year payback on your investment in the chain and block set. And over three years, with one set of chains and annual block replacement, you could achieve the equivalent of a 75% rate of return on your investment. That's more corn in the tank and more money in the bank. Keep more of what you grow with 360 Yield Saver.